the WWE Royal Rumble. One of the biggest pay-per-views of the year, World of WrestleMania, begins now. And honestly, this is one of the most stacked rumbles I have ever seen. And I'm just going to go with uh, who is booked so far in the rumble, uh, not counting the uh, SmackDown tapings, if they are there. But let's just go top to bottom. And I don't think this will be in order because, you know, again, the Royal Rumble, you, can't you cannot predict who will win. You can try and predict, but you can always be, have a start and a start, so it's always good to have a few insurance policies. But let's start off with the top. The man I think who could honestly be the best bet to win this Rumble, after he just came back and just destroyed Alberto Del Rio, he destroyed everyone in his path, and fucking Skinny Jean, that man who we once knew as Roy Tista, has returned. The animal, the evolution's bodyguard, muscle, and former world champions a few times, actually. Some of them for a cup of coffee, some for a very long time. But Batista is back in the Royal Rumble, something I, have, I honestly would never think would happen due to, due to WWE's PG era. I think that's one of the main reasons Batista quit in 2010. And uh, honestly, I did ever thought I see the day that Batista would return. Now, with that being said, if Batista does not win this Royal Rumble, there is a, you can expect he'll be in the Elimination Chamber match for the title, or maybe, maybe have a few Del Rio or somebody. I don't know. I mean, the fact that Batista's even back is still amazing. I mean, the pop for that was could have been a lot bigger, but it was good enough. Just imagine if that was in Washington or some town or someone that knew B uh, Batista, not these little little Jimmy, little Jenny, those people that want to be somebody. But, oh well, I, uh, I digress. It doesn't matter because Batista, win or not, will make a big impact on the Rumble. Speaking of an impact, CM Punk, a man who Kane, the director's o director of operations, declared will enter the Rumble as the number one entrant. Now this is very, very interesting because few men have won this Royal Rumble at number one. In fact, the same number of people have won this Royal Rumble at the number 30 spot. Undertaker and John Cena at number 30, Shawn Michaels twice, and people that don't want to admit it, Chris Benoit won at the number one entry. Um, but CM Punk, if, if, if there was a way for someone, for someone as a bank guarantee to win the Rumble, he can do it. I mean, he's lasted a, lo a very long time in the Rumble to, uh, in general, but I doubt that this will happen. And, this will probably lead to a Kane-Punk match at Mania, or at least some sort of authority feud against Punk. Now, Bert Rio, speaking of him, there is no way he's winning this Rumble. Especially if, he, if Batista's in here, Batista will toss him out, or Bert Rio will get lucky and eliminate Batista at the best, which Batista will come back in, just take him out, and here's your future Mania. Now, here's a good pick right here, a real blue chipper, a real dark horse, Big E Langston, the Intercontinental Champion. A man who could be pushed to possibly be the next Mark Henry or the next Batista or the next big strong man in wrestling. I've seen this guy since SCW. I've seen this guy since his reign in, in NXT, his dominant reign over NXT, mind you. Former SCW Tag Team Champion, the second ever NXT Heavyweight Champion of the World. Biggie Langston. That will have a big impact, pardon the pun, at the Royal Rumble. Miz, I'm not even gonna bother. He's gonna he's gonna probably be the one of the first out. Our troops, the same thing, except maybe he'll last a little longer. Xavier Woods, though, I don't think we've ever talked about Xavier Woods, so I'll, I'll, I'll indulge you a little bit for those who, who remember him as Consequence of Creed. That man had a lot of impact, in no pun intended, with his former tag partner, our truth and Team Truth, and even yes the fabled Team Pac-Man with Adam Pac-Man Jones back when Team actually had the NWA Heavyweight Ch uh, Tag Team Championship which they actually held for a cup of coffee <laughs> and the TNA World Tag Titles which they actually also won from believe it or not Kurt Angle and Sting I thought they'd team together later but still Xavier Woods 
uh, you know, it's his first year on the main roster, so I doubt that he will win the Rumble. But anything's possible. I mean, he'll last longer than the next man, Kofi Kingston, a man who, who I have been calling the domesticated dog over the past few weeks, the man who is the mid-card king, the king of the mid-card, a man who has never been pushed to the main event level, a man who would need this win if ever to ever get a WWE title shot. Let's face facts. A black man has never won a world championship with the exception of Mark Henry or The Rock. And that's not counting him being part Samoan. So that does not count. You have had this man for probably as long as you've had JTG, maybe even a little less. If you do not push him now, after him beating Randy Orton two weeks ago, and after him pushing Randy Orton to the limit, to where having a disqualification win, uh, or disqualification loss, because Cena got pissed that Randy fucked up his dad. If you don't push this fucker, release him. Use him properly. The man could fly, the man could do it. I shit on Kobe Kingston a lot. Just based on how he's booked. Not with his ability, but how he's booked. The man needs to get booked better if he wants to even reach the mountaintop, let alone be undisputed champion. Tag champions, Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Goldust has lasted a while, actually, in the Summer Rumbles. Cody Rhodes, same here. It, it depends on who they're feuding in the tag division with. With actually two men that could feud with them, that I'll talk about later, but uh, if it comes down to them, it'll be interesting. I, I don't see him winning, though. But, but for Cody, though, same thing with Kofi. You have the son of the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. You have the son of a son of a plumber. If you're going to push him to that main event level, he was... He made the Intercontinental title better than what it was. It was a jobber belt. It was low card because you had the money in the bank briefcases as your mid card belt along with the world title. If you don't push him now, he'll probably be there forever. And it'll be really sad. But he does have a good wife to go back to, so that's all that matters, I guess. Speaking of returns, the returning Rey Mysterio. As much as I would love to see him win, he'll probably tear his quad or something. He'll be out for another few months, so just ignore him. Fon Dongo. A man also who could have a good push in a rumble. There was Summer Rae as a distraction. Lord, who knows who will, who will eliminate. And plus, she's technically not a manager, so you can do that whole thing with, with Virgil back in the day. Who else would remember that? But Fandango, a man who got his debut at WrestleMania. Imagine this man going full circle. This man becoming the world champion. He can come back. We'll talk about the rest of the entries because there's still a lot to go through.